What's up guys? So we haven't seen each other in a minute, if you can't tell from my quarantine beard. I hope you guys are all staying uh, safe and, and healthy. I just want to do kind of a vlog today and uh, hang out with you guys since we haven't been doing much on the channel lately. I'm working on my office, which is the place that I edit and I spend a ton of time. And now that I'm home all day working at home, I spend even more time in there. So I'm finally finishing it the way I wanted it. So this is going to be my ultimate office and editing space. And so this was the space when I started. Here's where the space currently sits after a couple weeks of being from home and finally finishing it out. I've got kind of an extra empty corner. My wife had the great idea of making it into kind of a sitting area uh, that I can use for filming stuff. And so one of the things that I've always wanted, an engine block coffee table. I've got this old 7M block that uh, is pretty shot, uh, but today we're gonna be cleaning it up <clears throat> and starting the transition to turn this bad boy into a table. This thing's pretty nasty and greasy, as most used engines are, so we gotta clean it up and get it prepped for paint. So I knocked off all the loose paint and rust off this thing, and now I'm just gonna degrease it and hit it with that to get it off, and then we'll give it a final wire brush and get it cleaned up. Now I'm gonna try and get as much moisture off as I can by blowing it off of there, just so I don't get any flash rusting. Then we'll wipe it down with some alcohol, which is gonna pull any additional moisture out of the metal. Skipped a few steps here because I'm not really doing a tutorial on how to make a table. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I'm doing to pass my time and how I'm building my studio. So anyways, I degreased this thing, you guys saw that. Then we hit it with the wire brush a little bit more. And a couple of the really bad rust spots uh, with some phosphoric acid, which will convert that rust into a phosphoric coating. So you can paint over it. And then we went ahead and just clear coated it with uh, satin clear because I didn't want it too shiny, but I want to preserve this kind of raw metal look. The other thing that I've been working on kind of in parallel with that was the top of the table. So what this started out as is just raw, number two and better, two by sixes. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on lumber and I actually want to make this look rustic in the end anyways. We planed it down to an inch thick, clamped it all together and glued it so it made a solid top, screwed some supports on the bottom to kind of make it look like a crate and uh, tie those pieces together. And then we routed out this center section. I can drop some glass in there and that's gonna show off the cylinders in the middle of the table. So next I'm gonna go ahead and put some stencils on this thing because essentially what I'm going for is I wanna make this look like it was the crate that that short block might have came in at one time. So here I've got a spare piece that I cut and planed down just so I could play around with kind of aging this thing and making it look old. Uh, I think I got it where I want it. The goal is not really to make this look like it's stained, but more that the wood's really old so it's taken on some color with age and also that it's got some wear marks and stuff on it. Um, and I also added some nails into it because I want it to look like it was a crate top that was nailed on at one point. I think I like this so I'm going to move on and actually do the top now. So skipping ahead, the top's all stained and put on, so this is the final product.
strange how just the mood of a room can really help your outlook when you're spending hours upon end in it. And even before all this craziness, I spent a lot of time down here. This is my primary editing space. In full time working from home, I'm easily spending 50 to 70 hours down here in this room every single week. So it's really just wearing me down that the space absolutely sucked. Really, really stoked to have this seating area where we can shoot some videos, maybe have some guests on here if we're doing some commentary type stuff. It was actually my wife's idea and I'm really, really glad she talked me into it. I'm also stoked to have a place for all of my music stuff once again, because that has been packed up for the longest time since we bought our first house. So you guys saw the making of the custom 7M's coffee table. Um, the other things I've got in this space, this is a super old lamp that was actually my grandmother's. And this seat that I turned into a couch is actually um, the front bench seat out of a 69 Lincoln Continental. I knew I wanted this to be boost radio centric and car centric, um, and this was just a perfect fit. Cool barnwood wall over here behind the music section, um, which serves a couple purposes. Something to break it up and give it some, some definition. And then secondly, You'll notice that all the wood on there is different thicknesses and some of them are actually spaced out from the wall so there's an air gap behind them. What that does is it actually serves acoustically in here uh, to give this less reverb and help sound waves not bounce so uniformly off those walls. I insulated this ceiling and then over the drywall I actually put a layer of three quarter inch sound panels. The burlap ceiling is actually covering those sound panels so you cannot see them. And then the last thing that I really need to tackle is I need to build myself a new custom desk because that one is just not up to par with the rest of the room now. And to be honest, it's way too small for that massive monitor that I have. It's a little bit different than our normal content, but I thought with all the car influence in here, you guys might uh, be into it. I hope you and your families are being safe in this crazy time. And as always, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Later. Okay.